ACC started on the, on three main pillars mm -hmm. and later became four. Mm -hmm. So it was entrepreneurship, philanthropy, and ethics. Those are the three main pillars. Mm -hmm. Then later we added the global competence. Okay. So we want everybody to know ACC for entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. We want everybody to know ACC for philanthropy. We want AC everybody to know ACC for ethics. Mm -hmm. We want ACC students to end up being able to compete globally. And that is what necessitated the need to set up the Center for Entrepreneurship, Philanthropy, and Ethics. So the CEP, as we call it, will be, it's like the, the, drive, the driver for the core values for ACC, a way to practicalize or to move along, make sure that everything that we do is in sync with our core values. So practically, that's what the CEP seeks to do. We have several students who have created their own business, graduate students who have created their own businesses, and are doing well at it. So I can say they are very good stories. One student called me after national service. He got a job offer. He told me he would reject it. I was, uh, why do you want to reject it? Well, I've started my business, and I want to focus on my business. Shockingly, but because typically everybody wants a, a job opportunity. But... It, it gave me the impression that whatever we are doing at ACC appears to be working. Whatever we are doing at the CEP, our students are feeling the, the, the values. They are understanding the need to create businesses other than look for jobs. So one of our flagship program is the Startup Challenge. So as part of our program, we help students or we teach students or we train students to learn how to develop business plans. We do some training on how to prepare concept notes. You prepare a concept note and you bring it. You review it. We get back to you. We give you some time. We teach you how. To, we train you on how to develop a, a business plan. So after the concept note, you do a full business proposal. Now, when you finish with the business proposal, we critique it. We give it back to you. Make the corrections. Then you come back. Then we, uh, the CEP board will convene, and you come and pitch your business idea to them. So if you, you need to convince people that you need funding for your business. And so we, what the board seeks to do is to make sure that you get the training, you get the feel of how it is when you go onto the real world. Uh, bankers, they are directors, they are, they are business owners. So they sit on our board, they critique you, and they select what they think, uh, the businesses they think deserve funding, and we give seed capital to them. My name is Mavis Atakweye Upoku. I'm a former student of Heritage Christian University College. Coming to Heritage wasn't my idea though, it was my dad's idea. So he believed in me going to a Christian school. So he, he was even the one who came to buy my forms, felt that I didn't have any idea about Heritage, but he knew about it, so he made me come here. And God being so good, coming here has really helped me. It has really changed my life. Because when you come to Heritage Christian College, they guide you, they give you um, lectures. Even the lectures have time for every student. If there is lectures going on, lectures have time to make sure that every student understand what he or she, what he or she is being taught. Heritage also has an, um, an institution in it called CEP, Center for Entrepreneurship, Ethics and Philanthropy. And um, they, but they told the students if they have business ideas, they should bring it on board. Initially, I didn't want to do it. So it was the help of Dr. Asma. Dr. Asma called me and then he told me, he, I once had, um, told him about my business plan. So he called me and he told me that this is a great opportunity for me to pitch my business idea for them to help me. If I'm able to do it well, and if, if it sinks into their mind, if I'm able to convince them well, they will help me out with the business. So I listened to him and then I applied. So there was this, there was a presentation, a five, um, present, five minutes presentation. And from there, we went to do um, 20 pages business plan. We were also asked to go and pitch about it. And we did, it was a lot of teams though. But God being so good, I was part. I was being selected as part of the team, and I was give, being given ten thousand Ghana cedis. And aside the money, they are also there to help you, coach you in the business aspect. 
especially when they got to the time I was supposed to do my um, returns, annual returns. So I started the business while on campus. So I was running the business during weekends and then doing um, school too during weekdays. So the name of my business is Jotes Design and Consultancy. We are into decorations, interior decorations for offices and for homes. So we change houses into a home. When I finished the competition, I was being fortunate. God means so good. I was being given contracts from Dr. Axma himself to deco his house. I was giving, being given contracts by Mrs. Uh, Theresa Amuesi. She also allowed me to deco her house. And one of the amazing offers I had was from Dr. Um, Trumesi Ankara. He also gave me the opportunity to decorate his home. He gave me the opportunity to um, buy curtains, sew them, and then fix it at his home. And that was one of the amazing things he did for me. Personally, I'm not sure he knows he did an amazing thing for me, but I'm using this opportunity to tell him that I loved what he did and he's one of the fathers I look up to. And I'm very happy for all what he did for me. Aside doing it for them to um, Mrs. Wormina Ufori also gave me opportunity to come and do deco for the library, the Heritage Library. So I did for Heritage Library and I also did some for the Heritage IT Lab, the old one, not the current one. Um, it has been a great challenge. It has been a great experience. When on campus and after campus, even after campus, if I still call Dr. Asma as we speak right now, he's forever ready to listen to me, to listen to every issue I have. If he has an advice, he gives me. I completed 2020, 2021, that was last year. Yes, I completed last year. Being on campus and running business, whoever says it's not difficult, it's, the person is lying. It's a bit difficult, but it is all as to your focus, what you want, what you are achieving, what is ahead of you, your plan, what you want to achieve after everything. Being on campus, studying, and then especially when you have order to meet maybe by the end of this week, and your exams are starting somewhere next week, Monday, it's a big challenge. But I'm grateful to God that I also had good workers. I have artisans who work for me. I have those who fix my curtains and blinds as well, and those who arrange things for me. So when I had a difficult time, I share duties for them. I make sure that you do this, you do that. And God be so good. They've been very helpful to me and they've been doing it just the way I want it. I've not had any issues yet with any client that um, when I send ABM, any of my guys around, they had issues. No, nothing like that has happened. And I'm grateful to God for them, for them being in my life. And so even after school, I still work with them because I have gained their trust with them. They've I've gained their trust and they've also gained my trust. And there's one thing I learned from my dad. He says, if you have people working with you, always make them feel comfortable. Always make them feel happy. So I'm, I try my possible best to make them all feel, because when they are even working and I'm around, you might not even see the madam and even see the workers. We all blend together. We all work in hand in hand to make sure that everything we are doing is in order. Um, Dr. Asma advised me that Heritage has done a lot for me. And after his advice, I sat there and realized that yes, they've done a lot for me. And God being so good, business has been going well. Not extremely well, but it's going well. Every contract, at least every month, we get at least two or three contracts per month. So if God has been so good to me, I have to remember where I came from. I have to remember those who helped me when I was coming up. I have to remember that they will also have to establish another company to help them grow up their business. And it has to be from the same money, the same coffers. So if the coffers, money are going out and money are not returning back, eventually the understanding goes on, the coffers will become empty. So when he advised me, I sat on it. I prayed to God and I asked him, he should let his will be done. Because I had a contract ahead of me and I told God that if this contract goes well, I, I, I have this promise I've made to the CP. I want to fulfill it. And God has been good. He made me get the contract. The contract was with Trust Hospital. God being so good, he made me get the contract. I was like, I have to fulfill the promise I made to God. So that was what pushed me to come and donate the amount to CEP so that they can have some of the money in the coffers to be able to help another student or another business idea coming up. So that was what motivated me. 
coming to Heritage is really an amazing experience. Trust me. It's not that I've been through it, that's why I'm yes, I've been through it, that's why I'm saying that. Because the lecturers here have patience. If you say patience, they can go as low as going down that low to explain things for the student to understand. Heritage just don't give us um, the book knowledge. They also give us knowledge for our lives. They advise us, they guide us, aside the classroom education. It's about the experience you get. It's about when you move out from heritage, what you portray to the world. It makes you unique. It makes you different. They organize seminars for us. They guide us. They take us through the word of God. They take us through life experiences. And we are even fortunate to have people, experienced people coming from outside to come and give us guidelines. Don't look any further. And most importantly, now we are even going to add the nursing as part of our courses here. They shouldn't look anywhere. They should come to Heritage Christian University College because it has worked for me and it's working for me. And it has been an amazing experience being on campus.